You are listening to Baltimore Exposed Radio. Do you need exposure? Why not advertise with us here? We have a variety of options to offer you right here at Baltimore Exposed Online Magazine and Radio. To find out these options, all you have to do is send us a quick email asking for a brochure to marketing at bxposd.com or give us a call in our office at 410-585-6060. Oh my gosh, my chair broke. This chair is ridiculous, bro. I can't. Hi, everybody. I don't have anything to talk about. Too long to right now. You have a technical difficulties? No, like, it's fine. Okay. I'm doing well. How about yourself, Nicole? I'm doing great. Yeah, that's good. I don't have anything to talk about tonight, but we're going to do this show and it's, and, and just talk. I mean, it's not a, a theme show tonight. It's just Monday, the start of the week. Yep. Well, the start of a day, the end of a day to those that um, worked all day and just need to relax. So I'm going to give that to you today. Yeah. You are listening to Talk Lately. I am Moni, and that is Nicole over there on the Hi. other side of the room. And we are here with you for the duration of the night, talking about anything that you have on your mind, as well as um, stuff that's going on in entertainment. Uh, we got a good show. It's going to be a good show because I'm going to make it into one. Mm-hmm. Although I have as, nothing. As I mean, like I really have too. nothing. I got some depressing stuff. I'm no, sure you don't, don't really want to. I have to tell you though, it's like everybody is losing their jobs lately. Mm. It's depressing. Do I sound distant to you? You do. That's because your mic is back there. But you know, when it's up close, it's, it's very loud. I'm very loud. <laughs> I can hear you though. So. I, yeah, I can hear myself. Also. Um, like people are losing their jobs lately. Yeah, I can't even. You know, and typically in the beginning of these shows, I tell you what we're going to talk about through the course of. I can't, can't even, even do, do that. that. <laughs> I, you know, this weekend has been like a whole flake because mm. I can't remember a lot of stuff. I remember this morning. Were you drinking? No. No. See. We went to. I went to a cookout yesterday, though, which was pretty good. It was a spare of the moment thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Come on out, yeah. cook out. We're, yeah, we're gonna put some. Yeah, yeah, one of those. And I found out that I don't like grilled food anymore. Really? Right. Wow. I started. I, I don't know if my taste buds have like evolved. I can taste the lighter fluid and. Everything. Well, see, that's bad grill food. But even when someone does a good job, like they didn't even use lighter fluid, I taste charcoal or something it's in it. Grill. It's like the grill. That and that used to be so good, good to me when it. I was younger. Yeah. Now my taste buds have evolved. Like, Yesterday yeah. I was eating and I was like, oh my goodness, this is how could this be barbecue chicken? It tastes like barbecue lighter fluid. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> and it even had the burn marks on it. And the well, burn marks taste like if somebody's house burned down in West Baltimore well, on you know Saturday. It, just, it was like flames. <laughs> <laughs> just, well, you know what I think is cool? Like, um, that I just realized um, my girlfriend made some barbecue ribs over the weekend. And I was like, they, babe, they taste like they came off the grill. She put them they in the have, boiler. No, they have char grill barbecue sauce. That's so gay. I mean, scabies. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like it comes, I guess they just add, what, liquid smoke, you know, liquid smoke to it. But it really tasted like they came off the grill. Yeah, well, Ooh. They, just, they just had that smoky... You know, that the, smoky... That? I can go to Walmart after this. Then, because you want me... I want barbecue ribs now. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm going to parboil them. I'm going to... Mm. I know that's okay. Sanity Girls is talking. I ain't even get a chance to, even, you know, announce it. You know, after, I, I'm sure everybody knows that we're going to Evolve this weekend, this Friday at um, Club Hippo. And... Well, we're going to talk more about this tomorrow, though, when Jay from um, Sanity Girls, the CEO of Sanity Girls, comes on to talk to us about his um, organization as well as what's going on with him in the next couple of weeks. 
And but we're going to be attending Evolve, a Baltimore Fashion Week sponsored event that's happening at um, Club Hippo this Friday, July the twenty second. And I have a whole host of people that are coming with me. I, I, you know, I don't typically. We have an entourage. Yeah, we have an entourage. I have a whole bunch of you know guests yes. that are going to come out with us, and and I'm looking forward to it. But at the same time, I'm looking like, forward to what I'm going to wear. Right. Yeah, me too. I'm like, yeah. You know, yeah. well, it's going to be tight, yeah. or, you know, loose fitting, <laughs> you know, because the body is starting to, <laughs> yeah, take shape. <laughs> so it's like I got a lot of things on my mind as far as that. But um, like I said, Jay will be on here tomorrow night. So you want to be here for that at 8 o'clock. We're going to be talking about Sanity Girls, his uh, domestic violence organization. We're going to be talking, talking in depth. I don't want everybody, you know, a lot of people always ask me about how we interview people here. No, we interview people in a conversational setting. Right. This is not a Q&A. There will right. be questions, but it's also in a conversational setting. So you will hear my questions come up like... I know, you know, because my experiences with this and this and this. So how did you do it? Right. And then they'll, and you know, right. have time to answer. Then, it's not like, but in between that, I could like come a, up with another question right in right, between it's it. It's not like a script. Yeah. It's a written script or monologue as to how we're going to do it. Mm-hmm. I mean, a written dialogue as to how we're going to do it. I don't, I don't like to run my show with a script. <laughs> right. I'm well, not going to be like, let me, let me pull out my you, question sheet. You can't sheet. write a script with us. I, I can't do it. <laughs> we try, we can't, can't even stick it. to the show lineup. <laughs> <half> the <time. laughs> it's too much stuff comes up in your head. And you have to talk about it. Like, I didn't even get to what I was talking about with the job loss thing. Right, nope. I've already moved on to something else. <laughs> let me just tell you, though. Borders, the bookstore is closing. Wow. All of their stores. Well, they had already filed bankruptcy. Because apparently no one is reading paper books anymore so if you have a store you're selling paper books but you can get them on your phone or you can get them on your ipad or whatever kind of device that you have tablet you don't need books now see you know what's weird that's just that just excited me like i want i want to know if they're gonna have like a 75 percent yes yes they're closing all their stores so they're gonna be liquidating all of their i'm gonna have to go yeah i'm gonna have to go but that leaves 11,000 employees out of work. Out of work. I mean, it's a very... Same thing sad. goes with Cisco. Cisco, they make phones, they make televisions, they make a lot of things that you have to, d- to deal with um, electronics and communication equipment. They also let go 6,500 employees. Wow. There's a lot of people that are coming out of work as the summer comes to a close. It's really crazy. And what you would think when, you know, as far as telecommunications... The summer would be a bad time for that because a lot of people don't want to be in the office or in front of computers working. Mm -hmm. They want to be outside. So I understand that. But the summer is getting ready to close. And we're getting ready to go back into winter when people are going to be more indoors and telecommunications is going to be the hot topic again. You can't wait. Mm -hmm. Why did you pick the summer to let go 6,500 employees? Don't you know you're going to be hiring again in the fall into the winter? It's crazy. All right, look, everybody, the phone lines are open, 855-TELL-TLS. We have a good show, so you stick around, and we'll be right back. Don't you hate it when Twitter does that? Why? It gives you the overcapacity message. Mm -hmm. Like, wait a minute, don't y'all know y'all got over 350 billion people on here? You really think you would get it together and, you know have your service acting right Right. or get some more service that you can control the capacity what if all 350 billion people got on at the same time they're over capacity that's the same shame (laughs) (laughs) you are not on the sound effects i haven't heard one all night um yes our audience is here they are here they must be hiding under that damn chair they here (laughs) i would you know I've been trying to get to the movies like for I have to say the past three weeks I haven't seen Bridesmaids I haven't nope. seen the, the new Harry Potter movie just came out to spectacular okay. reviews as well you know this is the last adaption of it I haven't seen the first 400 one. and something million dollars worldwide wow 
over this past three days. It just came out on Thursday night. Right. Yeah, my sister and went just in opening night. She was in line at midnight. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no. There's no, there's no. Yeah, I was like, hmm, geek. But. <laughs> right. <laughs> I go to movies on Wednesdays and Wednesdays only because um, Hoyt's down. West Nursery Road number 14 on um, Nursery Road in um, Linthicum. Mm-hmm. They have matinee all day long. On Wednesdays. On Wednesdays only. Oh, okay. So you can go there for $7.50 all day long. Oh, okay. So that's my spot. And I usually go around 4 o'clock. Don't stalk me. Please don't stalk me. You said you go around 4 o'clock. Yeah, you're just going to give her all that. <laughs> I go on Wednesdays only. And around 4 o'clock. <laughs> You know, don't stalk meet me, me there. You know, <laughs> please don't stalk me because it's not okay. What's what my last? I can't. After the joke, again, here we go. The joke's over in the laughs. <laughs> it's like I really have nothing to talk about. <laughs> All right, let's go into artscape. I was trying to wait to the middle of the show to talk about Artscape because I just asked a question on the group chat about um, did anybody attend because we we attended. If you didn't go on Friday, it was kind of like no point. Yeah, (laughs) because Friday was the only day that... mm, Yeah. Mm. I think they maybe should have spread them out. Miguel Friday, well, maybe Fantasia on Saturday to make you come back right. every day. I mean, it still was. I heard it was still. Very oh, it was. Still, I heard it was still very, um, heavily trafficked. And, um, I guess because that's just, something for people to do on the weekend. It adhered to different crowds. So I heard on Saturday had they had like a rock band. Um, oh, from, okay. You know, from a, a local like rock brand band, mm-hmm. and then they had another rock band, so it was kind of like oh, okay, you know, alternative the music. on Friday, and then you know, so. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. You know, like, get them out of the way, and then the rest of the weekend, right? Then, you know, yeah, and that's but, what I was saying. Ain't that what I said when we were there? Right. Dang, look at right. all these black people. Mm-hmm. There's a lot yeah. of black people here today. Yeah, but, um, the whole entire hill is black. black. Right, it was. <laughs> it, <laughs> It was a trip. Was, I mean, it was nothing about the racial part because there were white people just, there. Mm-hmm. But it was like, it was, oh. Yeah. And a lot of people, come to find out, a lot of people didn't even know Fantasia was going to be there. This wow. is a free event. That and you mean to tell me mean, that's why they didn't do it, though? Because this was a free event and they wanted and to keep was, the crowd yeah, controlled. That was, um, yeah. And she did she her did. thing. Oh, my goodness. She made me cry. Oh. She made uh, her, she made her cry because I, I didn't hate it. <laughs> she made me cry. Oh. Fantasia did. Her, so did Miguel. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Right, he did. And I got a couple pictures thing. of him all close up, mm-hmm. and you know we was in the um, we call it the press area. <laughs> the, you know our own VIP, little VIP section we found right. because we were wondering really? like, where are these people going? Mm-hmm. Damn in the hell. I said, no, next year I'm going to have to be involved in the press of this event. Right. I mean, I, it's, I say that about a lot of things, and and we are. And that's why we're going to evolve like seven people deep this Friday. Mm-hmm. So if you are around in the area, you should come on down to Club Hippo. We're going to be there with um, Stevie Boy, who is a glass eyeglassware maker. I, eyeglassware designer. I don't, think, I don't know designer. if he makes them. I think he designs them. And... As well as Sanity Girls, um, we're going to be there with Jay, who's going to be on the show tomorrow night. Um, so you don't want to miss that. And we got a lot of stuff going on. Mm-hmm. There's a celebrity photographer coming out, Mike Mike Antonio. We're going to have a blast. I get to let my hair down. Thank you for that. Um, I'm right. I'm <clears throat> thirsty. It's a Dickens. Mm. What's a Dickens? Is a Dickens thirsty? I don't know. Are Dickens? Some of them are. They are. Okay. As so. you know, Baltimore dummies told you that. <laughs> yeah, <they're thinking> so <laughs> Apparently, they are thirsty. Oh, Apparently, they're giving away diseases on Baltimore dummies. They do. They give them away freely. Mm-hmm. Gosh, these Facebook pages are something else. I actually uh, you know, sat and I back just, and I just requested like seven more. I swear. I you found more? Yeah. Like what? Like um, 
I'll have to tell you during the break because I can't pull it up right now. Okay. But I mean, like Loose what? Noodle. I seen that one. Um, I did that one too. I had Cheaters 1, but I, I mean, I had Cheaters 2, but I just found Cheaters 1. Um, um, Baltimore, Freakiest. Oh, you know, it's, it's just too, it's a lot. It's really getting out I, of hand. You know, I'm going to do a story on these. On these. Uh, cool. Yeah, do that. Do, do that would be a perfect thing to so, do, you know. I, I figured since I spent my whole weekend on it, I just, I'm just about qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Qualify. Qualifying is an expert on um, disc pages on Facebook. Right. That's crazy. I, I've, I've seen Tickets are still available for the Evolve event, though. You can go to um, Baltimore's Fashion Week dot com to find out more information on that. You know, and Baltimore's Fashion Week is almost here. It's a month away. Yes. Effective today. It starts August the seventeenth. I do Today's believe. Today's the eighteenth. The 18th. Yeah. So, it's exactly one month away. So, you can go to Baltimore Fashion Week, Baltimore's Fashion Week dot com to get tickets to Baltimore's Fashion Week, which is April the 18th through the 21st. August. I'm sorry, August. What's wrong? Mm. I don't have anything to talk about. That's why <laughs> I'm losing focus. So, uh, Baltimore Fashion Week, August the 18th through the 21st. Uh, tickets are reasonable. If you only want to go one day, you can go one day. The one day I suggest you go is Friday. It starts on Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I was I suggest Friday. If not Friday, I suggest Sunday, the closeout show. The closeout show is usually off the hook. The bags are, especially if you get the VIP section, the goodie bags are really, really good. Oh, my gosh. I mean, really good. The goodie bags. So where the, are we uh, going? I'm going off four days. We are. Okay. But we're not in VIP. We press. We can't get okay, the goodie bags. Calm down. <laughs> Maybe she'll treat us the way. I don't know. Okay. But I'm just saying. Um, the goodie bags on Friday is a very good too. I mean, they got big sponsors like Macy's and um, who did I just find out? MTA is sponsoring them. Um, I think Dolce and Gabbana. I, I, it's a lot of. Go to Baltimore's Fashion Week dot com. You can find out all the sponsors and all the information you need. This is becoming a very, very big show. I mean, this year it's going to be in the tent setting, just like New York's Fashion Week, mm. and the stage is super big. It's going to be a good event. I, I can't wait. I, last I'm year excited. I was thrilled about it because it was at um, the Towson Sheraton last mm-hmm. year and in, um, in Towson and. It was set up so good. You know, Sharon Dixon, who um, is the CEO and founder of Baltimore's Fashion Week, is this is her pride and joy. Mm-hmm. And I can feel that from her. Matter of fact, I'm going to give you her email address. I want you to, yeah, you know, to do. And I, I can feel that this is her soul. You know, I can feel that mm-hmm. from this. She exudes that. Mm-hmm. And I understand it. But we got to take a break because she already gave me the one minute sign, and I get I can ramble, mm-hmm. I can go. This <laughs> mouth is. Go to break. I'll be back. Eight five five. Tell TLS everybody. <clears throat> I guess we were talking about Artscape too. Um, Yes, we were. Miguel gave um, a good performance. He did give a good performance. I mean, although he we had those didn't the crowd, it, but we heard it. Was very enthused right. with his performance. I, I'm, I, I still can't think off the top of my head of any of the songs that he <laughs> sang. I'm gonna, I'm gonna but he he really gave his fans. I mean, and stayed for a while after, after the show. Yeah, he really did, and and mingled, and he was very personable. Um, he came pictures, up and gave hugs gave and hugs, gave pictures and, and stuck um, around like in yeah. like the little um, behind the scenes area. Right, Where, but it was still like fan access. If people yep. called him over, he made it's, it's, it his you know business. pose, pose. Right, you know, stop. Oh, let me get a picture. He stopped. He was. Um, he would walk over yeah. his pose and his little yeah, half shirt, was, type um, skinny jeans ensemble. Yes, he um, very skinny. Skinny. <laughs> He was very scabies. He was very scabies. He was out there. He was really, really visual. So next break, we're going to play a Miguel song. We have one? Yeah, we have a few. Have two. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know it. Uh, that, I'm going to play the most popular. 
I have that one? Yes. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Who controls the music in this place? <laughs> I had no idea. Um, ja Rule is getting more jail time. <laughs> Apparently, um, he's getting more jail time. You know, he's in jail right now, serving, um, I think it's two years. He went in in June. But apparently, he's being um, added. Some, they didn't give specific details on how much jail time he will be getting. Oh, no. Yes, they did. 28 more months in a federal prison for tax evasion. It's horrible. Um, for. 2004 2008 taxes um apparently he didn't pay taxes in the sum of 1.1 million dollars mm. from royalties that he collected on music as well as his tours i mean they have a list of things here um for tours uh music royalties and different performances that he did um, for other people in di for two different companies, mm -hmm. he has two different companies. So one that collected his um, music royalties was ASJA Incorporated, and his tour company Rule Tours Incorporated. Mm. Damn, that's something you know. Well, I guess now his wife can add um, can join that TV the reality show they have in the works. What do you mean, join it? It's old. It's finished. It's finished. The reality show was done. You know which one I'm talking about? His. No, not his. She can join the other one with the uh, rappers who husbands are in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Is something like that coming out? Yes, they. they, they it's, it's supposedly in the works. Um. DMX wife is supposed to be on there. Wow. J.R. Ryder's wife. I don't know who oh, he is. Man. But it's supposed to be a show in the works. Like of, basketball wives. Right. But rappers' wives who were in jail. Wow. I didn't even know that. Tiny going to be on there? She should. I mean. <laughs> I mean. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was he married to Nivea when he went in? Who? No. Who? Lil Wayne. No, Nivea. No, he no. Was he, was he ever married? No, Nivea was married to the Dream. Right, but she got a baby by Lil Wayne. She has a baby by Lil Wayne, but they weren't. I don't think they were ever married. Okay. He was married to the Chinese girl when he got. Married. Okay. Yeah. And now that's over. And now that's over. Cause he, he cheated on her with Lauren London. Um. Yeah, something like that. I don't. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Tragic. Mm. <laughs> Little Wayne is just a girl. I just want all those baby mothers of Little Wayne. Though y'all, y'all victims. Well, they, um, they seem to. But y'all well they off victims. Y'all are the the best get, victims in the world. They get along and they work hard to make sure that the kids know that they're each other's siblings. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Like they they come together and for the for the children. That's I mean, cute. You know, it's the yeah. The but it's hood. Might, yeah, it it's is. cute, but it's hood. It is. You know, they all it's really, fell really... victim to him, but it's not the kid's fault. And they have a right to know that that's my sister, yeah. that's my brother, because if you're all growing up in entertainment, who knows? You could be gobbled up alive. You know? It's it's really hood, though. It it's, is. It's, I'm sorry to say that hood, but it is. It's really, really no, baby. quite ghetto. Yeah. It's, yeah. It is. But I mean, Ma, I'm going over my brother's house. Which one? <laughs> the one by Lauren London. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one. I mean, you know, I, in my opinion, I feel like all of the females had really, really had feelings for him. Yeah. But his intention is just to populate I, the earth. I want to have. A baby by every nationality, every woman of color, race, size, whatever. Mommy, can we go you know see my saying? sister? But that's crazy. Who? The one in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> that's just really, really strange. But more power to them because they they make it work apparently. Yeah, and I just give them props. 
just give him all kinds of props. Tomorrow, you guys, I'm, I'm going to be saying this for the rest of the night. You know, Jay, Jay from Sanity Girls is going to be on the show talking about his organization and his involvement in domestic violence. As well as there's another event coming up. And um, I did want to mention that, that Samantha from Slut Walk DC will be on the show next Tuesday, July the 25th. And yes. 26th. 26th. July the 26th. And it's not what you think. If you want to know further information before the interview, you can go to slutwalkdc.org. Um, I think you'll be really impressed. intrigued. Intrigued, intrigued on what the, what that's because about. Because when you hear it, you're like, what? What? Is, what? Slut you, walk. What you just call me? What kind of whore is going to be there? <laughs> but go and research it and... I really um, encourage you to tune in because it's very and informative and participate. Yes, yes, we will. That will be um, Truth Tuesday, and that will be a. Gr- I believe that'll be a great show because if we can encourage people to call in and express. And tomorrow such- we're going to find out more with Jay too right. about this event too because he's going to be he's partnering um, with Slut Walk DC, right. and we we'll get more in depth on that tomorrow with Jay from Sanity Girls. Um, you can follow them too on Twitter, Sanity Girls. It's um, at Sanity underscore Girls G U R L Z. So I I look forward to talking to Jay. Jay is a friend of mine, and we communicate through text often and a lot. He's a really cool guy. Yes. I mean, he's called here like seven like times today. Today, yes. I mean, we've <laughs> talked to him all day long today. Shout out to Jay from Sanity Girls. Um, and I'm waiting for an email from... Um, I just got the boutique information from Baltimore Fashion Week. Anybody out there that's looking to become a business boutique? Now, let me tell you what the definition of a business boutique is. It's basically a vendor, but vendor yeah. is kind of convoluted and, and cl- clouds the judge it clouds the meaning in vendor because it makes you think okay they can be selling anything you know mm-hmm. so a business boutique I like that from yeah. Sharon um, Dixon and it, it goes at Baltimore's with, Fashion Week and it goes along with the the theme fashion of Fashion Week, week. right yeah a business boutique. You, you can uh, boutique? Um, go to Baltimore's Fashion Week dot com to find out more information on becoming a biz- a business boutique. Basically, you can go and showcase your uh, designs, your designs, mm-hmm. uh, whether you sell jewelry, any type of business. Right. It's all it's welcome. I mean, it, you can be selling phone books. I don't know who wants right. those, but right. Right. Yeah. if you have a computer and a smartphone, you don't need a phone book. But still, people use them. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Well, whoever the market is for phone books, you can get one. And we got a lot more in the show tonight. So you stay tuned. We'll be right back. The phone lines are open right now at 855 TLTLS, 855 8355 857. And this is for Montreux. The oh, Miguel. Miguel. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very well. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I don't like hearing about stuff like that. I know. Apparently, um, Saturday after Artscape um, on a dare, somebody, a 17-year-old boy got stabbed and sent to shock trauma. That's crazy. He had to have one of his lungs reinflated. Now, I understand exactly when people say that, um, like Rochelle, she said that she doesn't attend a lot of events Mm -hmm. because of stuff like that. But you would have thought, you know, well, if the Artscape, there was a, 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 well, I don't know about Saturday or Sunday because I was over there on Friday. Um, There was a heavy police presence. Heavy. I mean, on Friday, there was a real, I I don't know if it was because Fantasia and Miguel were there. (laughs) They right. were they were the headliners yeah. Yeah. of the whole entire That's event. That's true. And, and it happened on Friday, but the everywhere. heavy police presence was there. It's crazy. Well, my prayers, our prayers go out to him and his family. Um, we hear that he's okay, and um, he's doing better anyway, but he's still like shock trauma. Mm. I just wanted to say something else. Uh, no, it wasn't that. That kind of just mm, mm, dampers your mood when you hear It does. Because we were just so pumped up about it. Like, you know, Artscape, it was nice. We had right. a good experience. 
We didn't see. I didn't see any incidents when we were there at all. Not. Well, like, you know what I'm mad about. Just to change the top topic from the the sad and dreary. I didn't. I'm mad because you know I had the chicken um, chicken strips and fries right. from um, Boardwalk Fries, mm-hmm. but I wanted pizza. Right. And they just. Split it was the, the only last. time I was going to have a fat thought and fulfill they it. Just split the pizza up amongst the coworkers. Right. Like we wasn't standing there. Like, yeah. Like, yeah, I, I seen that. I was just like, you know what? Because they were closed, but they should have did that. You know, you know what? I think they needed they some blinds or something. Of- but they could have told the people that were standing there waiting for them to give us the damn pizza that All we were right. closed. They waited to like 15 minutes in to them cutting the pizza up and dividing it up to the um, employees to say right. we're closed. Right. Gosh, I hate chicken strips, though. They were greasy. I appreciate the um, the greasiness of the chicken strips, too. <laughs> Cause I hadn't had grease in so should. long. I had. Yeah, man, it, it mm. Wow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Nope. Bad thoughts. Oh, if you were waiting for me to comment on the Miguel song, I've already forgotten. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't. You know, you were <laughs> that, so like, uninterested. I, I, I just wanted to let you know that you know we have it here. Is, is that what the, the yeah. popular one? That was the popular sure thing. You know, everybody loves that song. You know, cause it's, like, except for me, not you know, everybody. Then you can be the cigarette. I'm the smoker. You know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> can I tell y'all about Sarah Palin? Do y'all want to talk about her? Well, apparently her documentary oh, came yeah. out. Yeah, we can talk about that because I'm, I'm ready to laugh. Her yeah. documentary came out this weekend <laughs> along with the Harry Potter movie. And nobody was there. And nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> only the critic. It was one, right. one, one critic, critic in the theater. And he probably wished he had um. He said that it, through the course of it, two people that came out of the Harry Potter movie came in and sat in the back of the theater, but was too busy making out to even pay attention. <laughs> but then as soon as one of the people that was inside of the play said something about a eunuch, they left. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know what a eunuch is. <laughs> oh, Isn't that the thing that the, uh, the, um, the Amish people wear on their head? Ain't that a eunuch? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, it says shortly before the end of the film, a couple entered, walked to the back, walked to the back row, started making out, then interrupted their session and left. <laughs> wow! <laughs> because Angie Baird, who was one of the several guest appearances, started talking about Unix. <laughs> They got the hell out of there because they don't know what a eunuch is either. Right. They were like, "What the hell is this? What are we in? <laughs> oh no, let's go. Make this out. is so not sexy. Let's no more make making out." out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and um, what came in as number two? Number two was Transformers, and yeah. number three was Horrible Bosses. I want to see that too. I do. I want to see. That's that. another one. Yeah. But see, that's a, that's one of the ones that we were back in the day. That's one of the ones. Exactly. <laughs> you gonna see horrible bosses when you get lifted. <laughs> no, you know what's funny though, because I really want to. I really want to see that movie, but um, I was so tore when Hangover came out. I couldn't remember the movie. Like I remember laughing. Like I was like, the movie was so good, and it's like, what happened? I'm like. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she was on was so good. Yes, uh, it was. Oh, it was so funny. That's I don't tragic. even remember who I went to see it with. I'm like, did I go see that with you? Did I go see that with you? No, Kelly. Like we wasn't even together. <laughs> <laughs> Chili from TLC is a blonde. You know, I always take that, and you know, when I hear about people dying their hair blonde. What? Uh, yeah, okay. Careful. When I hear people talk about when they dye their hair and stuff like that, you know, Chili has that like mixed hair mm-hmm. and it's real it's curly real, and it's, it's really fine yeah and frail. I, next week, I hope she's not bald. Right. Because the, you put that bleach on your hair, it will tear your hair out, starting with the the end of your follicles and mm-hmm. break up. And break up. So she got a new boyfriend too, and they attended um, Dion and Pilar Saunders um, charity event. Why am I talking about Chelly? 
Is she doing something? Is, yeah. Did her reality show come back? Or she got a man, so what? Did she get fired? She has a man. What's the point of her show? Did she get it off her show, though? Are they going to come back and talk about that on the show? I don't know. Or did her show... Was she fired? Is she unemployed, too? So is that 11,001? Like, mm, 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 mm. Oh! Is she in the same boat with Exhibit? <laughs> unemployed? <laughs> I'm not playing with y'all tonight. I can't. <laughs> no flanking. No flanking. <laughs> you know what? Who looks good? And I just seen this on MediaTakeout.com. She looks really, really good too. Stephanie, Stephanie Mills. Mills. She, she really, really does. She I mean, does. she kept, that figure is still there. You hurt yourself? Uh, long story. <laughs> oh, I, we already clearly talked past the minute. So <laughs> we did. They, okay. Yeah. One more break. No, it's not just one more. But I gotta go to break. Uh, I want to talk about Jay Z and Beyonce walking through the park, as well as Foxy Brown, mm. and how they just try to make it look and like she what? lost weight and I can't. And guess what? When we come back, we will be in the nine o'clock hour, and that's when it so gets hot. You know we'll be right means. back, everybody. Eight five five tell TLS. You are listening to Baltimore Exposed Radio. Do you need exposure? Why not advertise with us here? We have a variety of options to offer you right here at Baltimore Exposed Online Magazine and Radio. To find out these options, all you have to do is send us a quick email asking for a brochure to marketing at bxposd.com or give us a call in our office at 410-585-6060. Oh, it's time for me to come back? I told you. Did you? Yes. I think I was in the bathroom when you must have said that. No, you were right here. I said it twice. Before you talked about the why did she keep asking and then after. Yeah, I said it. You said you're working. You're pro- I said 30 seconds. Yeah. Did you say it like that? No, I said 30 seconds. Because you said I'm thirsty. <laughs> I have water right here. I have a bottle. <laughs> A lot of people are talking about that fungi toe that I posted on um, the Talk Lately Live chat wall. Mm. <laughs> Somebody in particular is Lisa. <laughs> now, on everything that I post, she says something about it. And she's like, this picture doesn't look worse than that toe you posted. I don't know why you would post something like that. I mean, because mm. everybody needs to know the dangers of getting a pedicure. Now, me being an ex manicurist, feet was one of the reasons why I quit. Really? <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> this nail salon I had worked at, oh, this is back in the 90s. Oh, it's really just smacking. I am. <laughs> Do you know this way, man? This is actually good. I'm glad you made me buy it. You made me buy this. Mm-hmm. I did make you buy it. The, the life, banana. The banana, the banana nut bread. bread. Uh, it's good. By the Life Brands, a Quaker Oat. Right. I'm going to have to try one. Banana nut bread. Since I made you um, Soft baked bars. 140 calories. That's why I, I was intrigued on buying these. It says try even. You can even heat them up. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I I was saving it for last because I didn't know if it was going to be good. Mm. You know how I am. Um, mm. Like them grand, um, them great value yeah. orange. Mm. They're still in the refrigerator, but eventually they'll make their way over to the trash can because they are horrible. Mm-hmm. Anytime just, just you make creamsicle. anything horrible, orange creamsicle, orange cream it. pie, orange cream pie. Yeah, no. Mm-mm. But look, that's not what I was talking about. No, it's not. I don't even remember. But yeah, uh, the toe, the toe, the pedicures. Uh, I took my echinacea. <laughs> I can remember stuff. Um, working as a manicure, manicurist, that was mm-hmm. one of the reasons why I can't do feet. I don't do feet. Mm-hmm. People touch me with their feet. I squirm. I squirm. That's almost worse. No, it's not. It's almost worse than my claustrophobia, but it's not. <laughs> it's the same thing. I don't even think no. you compare it. Compare it doesn't. It doesn't. No. But feet, mm-mm. So it would be. Some people think their feet are pretty. So it would be like death for somebody if they was to wrap their legs around your neck. 
<laughs> like their feet. Just... I would beat the hell out of somebody's feet. Toe, big toe, touching the lip. Oh, my... <laughs> <laughs> oh that's like. Oh, when she said that, it was like scratching a chalkboard. <laughs> Nicole then hits her head on the mic. <laughs> You just can't imagine how I feel about feet. And my sister, my sister is famous for this. She'll ask me to paint her toenails or something like that. She just doesn't get it. But you see, the difference is because it's my sister, I'll do it. Mm. It's my sister. You don't like it, but she'll do it. Right. Imagine it's being a paying customer. You know, you're supposed to be doing this to make money. Right. And you're still right. like, I can't I do can't, this. Can't. Miss, you got all this stuff on your heel. <laughs> what is going on? Where were you walking at? <laughs> Oh my gosh! And then there's be some people that you you know doing the, the pedicures. Mm-hmm. You gotta go. You gotta scrape under the toe mm-hmm. with the um, the cuticle scraper mm-hmm. or the wood stick, mm-hmm. I like to call it. You scrape under the toe to bring up all, all the schmutz and stuff like that. Right. And then it be black stuff. Mm-hmm. Was you walking in a coal mine? <laughs> Did you just get off of work and, and your occupation is barefoot? <laughs> Then I hate the people that be like, oh, and then I'm going to pay the extra $10 for you to give me the deep shaving. Ew! And then you know you use them white towels, and they want you to use the white towels so you can't see the stuff that falls on them. Mm. I'm sorry if I'm grossing you guys out, but I'm serious about my feet dislikings. You have a feet fetish, and then you'd have a feet hate. And I'm on the hate side. I don't even know why we need feet. <laughs> <laughs> why can't why we just we let them go them? why do we need them yeah what are you gonna walk on your ankles why don't have everlasting boots <laughs> why do we need feet post that question <laughs> why do we need feet? i'm serious i'm <laughs> I got fingernails. I'm su- sufficient with these. Can we just not have toes and stuff like that and walk on pure palm foot? <laughs> wow. <laughs> what do we need them? <laughs> Even the people that think they feet are pretty, they are not pretty. They feet. They're they for feet. walking. That's it. They not meant to be pretty. It's just an extremity. I don't know. I used to, um, when my oldest sister first got pregnant, I kind of developed this foot fetish. <laughs> mm. I did. It's not. And it's not like I don't that. understand how you gave like, a foot she, pre- fetish on a pregnant woman's feet and they swollen. They, it. it was just so they used. I, I seen Nicole. I mean, um, Erica's ankles this weekend, yeah. and I almost wanted to vomit. <laughs> Hers are, you know, hers are a medical condition. Genetic, right. It's a medical condition, <laughs> but, yeah, I know. I just, I just can't do feet. I made a whole segment about feet. Do you yeah, like it? This is how we do it. It's the 9 o'clock hour. It's the 9 o'clock hour, and it's time feet. to rock and roll with this show. And why we don't need <laughs> We don't need feet. The same thing goes for why they think... Um, Foxy Brown is getting smaller. We'll talk about that. Oh, we gotta go to break. (laughs) (laughs) We'll be right back. (laughs) Is it conceited to say I love my voice on that commercial? No. Oh, okay. Aretha Franklin is being sued. Okay. Damn, that's Patti LaBelle and Aretha Franklin. Mm. You said again. When was she pr- you, you is this was the same a- one? You talking about Patti LaBelle? No, Aretha Franklin was just being sued recently. Is this the same lawsuit? No, this is a different one. She's being sued by the, um, a longtime songwriting partner okay. who is um, claiming that. The publishing company that she owns, Springtime Publishing Incorporated, um, didn't sign a royalty agreement 
on one of the tracks on her latest album. Um, the song is called Put It Back Together Again. And he's not specifying on how much he wants or, or I guess they will probably find out. But if it wasn't a radio play song, the roles, do people even sign royalty agreements anymore on albums or did they just buy songs? Beyonce yeah. buys songs. Right. But she don't typically try to give away her royalties. Right. She'll give you a that's song. a smart way to do it. Though. I would do yeah, that's I'll how I would do lump, it when I'll I give you a lump song when my record comes song. out <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna be all me and no one's getting anything. <laughs> Selfish. That is my name. I'm just gonna play. I'm gonna be hype man. Just don't hit me in my face with a suitcase. You can't get no royalties. <laughs> so, you can be the hype man all you want. I'll pay you for your hype. But that's it. One check. No. <laughs> you can't, you're not every time I hype, I need to. Uh, no. You know, no. Every, every no. hype performance. You're fired. Need... <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. I need to be paid depending on how hype I am. I played. I'm sorry. <laughs> I played that show, the show where we were talking about um, Daddy Husband. <laughs> I still haven't, I still haven't heard it. I played it for my grandmother the other day. <laughs> really? Oh my for gosh! She, for my grandmother, eighty something year old woman in the car falling. <laughs> I don't. I don't. It was on my phone, so. If you all did not hear that daddy husband show, (laughs) you gotta go and hear it. It was hilarious. That was the same one we did the skit. Yes. Yes. She because she was like, um, you know what? When does your show come on? She just came out of the blue yesterday when we was on our way to the cookout. When did your show come on? And I said weeknights at eight. She was like, "Uh, on what station? I was like, oh, Baltimore Exposed Radio. Um, what channel was that? Mm-hmm. Online. Yeah. She was like, "Wow, well, I'll never hear that." You I said, like, "No, you will." <laughs> Hold on. Oh my goodness. You know, I was putting it on my phone, uh-huh. and, she, and Daddy Husband just happened to be on. <laughs> 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 now, if y'all have not heard Daddy Husband, oh, if you have not heard <laughs> Daddy Husband, <laughs> first of all, it um, started with Daddy and um, daughter. Yes. Fighting about who's going to evict who. Oh my goodness! Oh, the skit was hilarious. Oh. I'm not going to tell you all more about it because you go ahead to go back in the past, or we'll play it on a best of show mm. one of these days. It was just, it was, yeah, it was Daddy, cute. Oh, it okay. was cute. We just talked about Daddy Husband. We did. Oh, it's cute. Of all places to be talking about Daddy, what were we talking? What was that to? Why do we still talk about like? I don't even remember. Well, I think we've I, seen something. Or somebody, or somebody was sitting down. Yeah, something. We saw something and made us think about Daddy Husband. And, yeah, when you're like, when we out in public, I call him D.H. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, what's D.H. stand for? Daddy Husband. <laughs> oh, wow. Yes, it was hilarious. You have to find it. And it was, yeah, because it was about, and somebody was talking to me and said something about marriage. Oh, we were talking about what if uh, you re- you found out you related to your significant other. Oh, right. Yeah, and and then, then I said something about um, oh. somebody has said something smart to me. <laughs> it was a damn chat line. Yeah. Well, that's what happened. That's what initiated yeah. daddy husband. <laughs> but I'm talking about how we started talking about it on Friday. But... The chat line initiated <laughs> Daddy Husband. Yes. <laughs> Somebody was like, "You probably be good something to your father," and I was like, "So what? That's my Daddy Husband." I'm married to my Daddy. That's my Daddy Husband. You mad? You jealous? You mad because Daddy Husband? I'm cold. Can you bring me a blanket? <laughs> I can't take it. I can't mm-hmm. take it. Thank you, Daddy Husband. Oh, you, know, you went all into it. Oh my goodness! Oh, it was hilarious. Oh, you have to see that. You have to listen to that skit. Uh, you got to. Mm-mm-mm. Now, Jay from Sanity Girls is going to be on the show tomorrow night. You don't want to miss it. Live at eight p.m. right here on Baltimore Exposed Radio. We got a good show. It's going to be good. 
tomorrow we're gonna have better research being done around here. Everybody's gonna get their asses to work. <laughs> Pointing at everybody. Mm. Do y'all remember? Um, oh, let me just go ahead and go to break. No, no. You said one. Yeah. I don't know. That's enough time for me to dig into Foxy no, Brown's we ass. Left. We left them. <laughs> <laughs> No, I want Foxy. <laughs> we'll be right back. I'll be in the club fist pumping. Yeah. And it don't stop. Come on. That was Kelly Price. All right, honey. I love Kelly. Somebody tell her I said so on Twitter. Oh, I can do it. She follows me. I love her. She is a darling, and she'll be here in Baltimore soon. Um, and we'll, matter of fact, I'll, I'll ask her when, and I'll give everybody the scoop, because no one knows when she's coming, but she told me on the low. Me and Kelly go back um, like thieves. Um, Foxy, I can't, I, uh, remind yeah. me, before this break is out to talk about Foxy, but first, I need to, um, pass hell in. No. Why? Mm-mm. No, she's looking. She looks really, really good for this V um, magazine shoot that she did over the um, in V magazine's upcoming issue. Oh, okay. She's not. Look, I mean, she is just like a whore. It's typical. But no, it's classy. It's like in a black and white frame, and they like real classy pictures with. You know, I don't know. It's not dressed like a whore. She's <laughs> dressed like a classy whore. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like she's dressed in this ensemble that has like these puffy co- um puffy um sleeves. Mm-hmm. And her hair is like coming down covering her boobs. But it's like it's like design. It's art uh-huh. artistry okay. at work. Okay. And it's like the the photos like this one right here is like she turned back looking over her shoulder with her hand on her sh- on her arm. Mm-hmm. Email them to me. It's like it's really sexy. Email it to me so I can actually see it. Even I'll do that in a minute. Yeah, you know. But it's like really sexy, and I like it. I like I like where she's going with this. I don't know if that. Damn it! I hope that reality show got canceled. Oh. Gosh, I don't want her on TV no more though. Goodness gracious! We're in a hotel or something. I think she should be a desk attendant. <laughs> the Hilton Garden BWI. <laughs> that was so like rough. Nothing. Mm-mm. Welcome to the Hilton Garden. Um, I can't this, remember my name. This it's, this is this is a hotel. Oh. Okay. <laughs> she is really slow and a so, little bit ditzy. Um, people are gonna stay here. That's what happens. No, they, that's not gonna work for me. Um, hmm. <laughs> well, uh, that's my last name. <laughs> Ew! I hate her. <laughs> do you, everybody? They, do, uh, I just want to get people's opinion on this before I go into Foxy Brown. <clears throat> Do y'all think Floyd Mayweather and Lil' Kim make a cute couple? <laughs> they were seen at a party, according to media takeout, all hugged up and close. But they didn't kiss Robert, or anything. That's the same party where he left the $100 bill on fire and facing time. Yeah. yeah. So Did she want to get wrapped up in yeah. that again and uh, had to deal with people I, going I, to... I don't care. I would stay he away. He has enough money to pay for any other... Face surgeries. She was right, but I would stay away from the, the idea of jail. Yeah. Didn't she have enough? Yeah, she should. She should have. You know, she should have. I don't even want to get you doing something wrong. I'm sorry. Mm, nope. I, you know what? I, I I'm not even. I, I ain't taking up for you. <laughs> <laughs> I was no, I did not. So what? You was at my party. I did not tell you to like that hundred dollar <laughs> bill on fire. No, no. I'm not. Mm-mm, no. No. I, I, if I was Kim, I, I, I can't. Mm-hmm. I just can't. I can't get involved. Why are his eyes so close together? At least it's not the rest mm-hmm. of his face, but like that girl on Baltimore Dummies. But, mm, but that looks—it still looks crazy. I know, 
It does. But if all of his... We talked about this already. Yeah, if the rest but, of his features was with his eyes and nose... Right, but it... This is... But see, that's why he's his, a boxer. But his eyes look like... Buttons. He looks oh, like yeah. an aardvark. <laughs> that's what I, I see aardvark. All right, Foxy. Yes, please. Because I can, you know, it's close to a break time again. Yes, please. Media Takeout is saying that um, she took some high cl- high fashion pics. <laughs> I completely disagree. <laughs> Apparently, but see, look who we're talking about, media Fred. Takeout. We're talking about Fred yeah. of Media Takeout, who can, you know he wears glasses, so clearly he can't see the people that are what in front of his high face. Fashion? I'm trying to figure this out. Cause what, what was high fashion about any of those pictures? Any of them. I actually have to go back and open it up because I need more descript to be more descriptive on what I'm talking about here. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I find it? it? Here it is. Man. Oh, sorry. Like, no. Okay. First of all, they say high fashion. Okay. She's on fishnet stockings. That's not high fashion. And um, she is on a bustier or a corset. No, this is a corset. Right. And did, can we can can we just stop for a second <laughs> and just shut her career off? I'd be mean, like a light switch just click, and there, just cut it off. There is. There I don't is know no what career. they're trying to do with this. There is no career. That, what are they bring, trying to do with this? They're trying to re- bring her back, but then they bring her back with this messed up weave. Mm. Where you can tell in the front of a hair, with where, where they have the fake baby hair. Like, just give it up. The, the baby hair of a retarded baby. Just... <laughs> uh, don't laugh at him. That is not funny. It's not the baby hair of a retarded person. It's more like the hair of an AIDS patient. How would you talk? I can't. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I thought what I said was a mess. <laughs> but she's been rocking this weave, and I, I do believe it's the same weave. <laughs> From court. <laughs> she's been rocking this same weave since the beginning of her court case. <laughs> and that was back Just in keep January. Keep jamming the sides down in the front. They ain't and no she's trying to make some true baby hair with hair this, like. And it's not blended. But see, this is what we go into. This is the people that's around you not telling you <laughs> the truth. Just like her attorney is telling her that she needs to sue the state of New York $100 million and that's going to fly. <laughs> this is somebody that's telling you this. This is your attorney and he's advising you to do this, knowing damn well that you mooned that girl and that the judge let you go on a technicality because he didn't feel like this was a fr- he felt as though this was a frivolous charge. But you had a restraining you order. You, you actually should have been guilty. Do I look good? Yeah, you look good. <laughs> She can hear now. She don't sound like that. <laughs> I quit. I quit. I quit. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's still funny right, to me I because quit. I quit. I, I can picture her <laughs> just like that back in 2006 before she can hear again. <laughs> she don't sound like that no more. Uh, <laughs> I'm not playing. I'm not playing. Right, I, quit I quit this game. Yeah, I, quit. Me too. I quit. We gotta go to break. <laughs> I quit this game. I do. I do. We'll be back. But it's one. We gotta go. <laughs> It still wasn't. I mean, from the last segment. 
There's <laughs> nothing I can do with it. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to focus. Oh. I'm excited for them. Let me get closer. Oh, oh um, uh, Chloe. And Chloe Lamar. Lamar. Is it true? I don't know, but I hope it so. It sounds true though, because they went all into. But the, it makes me wonder: Did they do infertility, um, you know, fertility drugs and stuff yeah, like that? Because that's I know what she it was. Says in it the does. Story. That's why I said it sounds true because they went all into the uh, that they were doing the fertility um, things stuff. Oh yeah, they were doing fertility treatments, and two eggs were implanted. They are having twins. Congratulations, Chloe. But well, it's only been a year and a half. I mean. They're married. Mm -hmm. They've only they've been married a year and a half. They've known each other. A okay, year and I, well, a half. okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they known each other for thirty seconds. <laughs> a year and a half, you know. Okay. They known each other for a year and a half. <laughs> they've been married for, for a year and a half. half. <laughs> they known each other for a year and a half. Time for a baby. Time for a baby. Yeah. <clears throat> Two. Two. And one time. I was damn sure she's gonna be locked. <clears throat> I still say congratulations. I think it's a good thing. I mean, they do truly look like a couple that are yeah, in love, yeah, even right. though they only knew each other for thirty days before they got married. It was it's it's, it's meant to be. It's I actually think they're gonna be the one couple out of that whole entire family to make it. I think. So. I think Chris Humphrey's gonna get tired of um <clears throat> of Kim shortly. But you know, I I have this. And Courtney's never gonna marry Scott. Mm -mm, I don't think so either. But I have this like theory that I I believe that when people meet and they click and they get married fast, a lot of the times it can work, and sometimes it can't because you you're don't together, know each other. Right, you're together for like it, you had it has pros and cons, but you're you're with somebody for all that time. Why not spend that time learning? You know what I'm saying? But see, like, they have I mean, the same. I mean, you get married, you're still you're learning each other. Every day is something new. You know, you you, you growing together, mm -hmm. really getting to know this person. But then it can be like you just getting to know them. Some shit can go down, and you lose that. But you know, a lot of people get married, and they together for years and years and years. They get tired of each other, and it falls off sometimes. Rochelle said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, Nick." <laughs> <laughs> Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. You better you know what I see they, they do have they have the same wit about each other. They can joke around with each other, they can say little harsh things to each other, but they, they know what's in fun. Right. Same thing goes with Rob, the brother. Mm -hmm. Who just had an appendicitis yesterday right. on the show. It's, and was it's, in the hospital and all that. Had to have you seen it? Stuff. I saw. It I watched it yesterday. It was I didn't really watch cool. the show, but I I saw it posted somewhere where they were sending out prayers for him or something. Yeah, it was a good show <clears> yesterday. <throat> I liked it. It's the only thing I watched besides my favorite show from the nineties. Nineties? Yeah, nineteen ninety four, ninety five. It, it, it was a, on, a long running show, a British show on BBC America. Well, it was on BBC in, mm -hmm. in and their now country. It was on BBC yeah. But no, it's, now it's on Logo. Oh, okay. Absolutely fabulous. What? The show is called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Absolutely fabulous. <laughs> like, absolutely. What? What? What was absolutely fabulous? <laughs> this show is called Absolutely Fabulous, and it comes on Logo. And it's a good show. I love that show. They are so funny. Them British people be getting the ends. I mean, getting high, smoking weed, mm. going crack. Wow. But they funny. She, she's an alcoholic. The mother's an alcoholic. Look this up. I think I have it. I'll play it for... I'll let you watch one episode. I think I got it on my DVR. And... <laughs> This is one of my favorite shows. If y'all have never seen that show, you will be addicted. It's I like on got it on um, DVR. Yeah, okay. it comes on Logo now and reruns. I think it still comes on BBC America too, but that's probably a late night mm -hmm. show. I like BBC America too. That that station is a lot. You know, I'm tired of yeah. giving people free advertising. Yeah, I watch. I it. endorse a lot of people on the show, but I love it. I like to right. share what I like. I like that. <laughs> Facebook. <laughs> I think I give y'all enough promotion to Yeah, we and you not paying me. Yeah, I didn't see one check. Hold on, let me look. Nope. 
nothing in that jar. It's nothing in that envelope. Not from Facebook. Mm. <laughs> Facebook, I need your help. <laughs> When I told when I said that in the beginning of the show that I really had nothing to talk about, I wasn't lying. I really wasn't. But did y'all know? I, I don't think, think I told y'all about this about the um, the thing with Charlie Sheen and the um, at police escort from um, Reagan Nash, Reagan International Airport taking him to that show mm-hmm. in the, the beginning of um, this year. Yeah, and then the we did the police officers got in got trouble and all that other kind of stuff. Then, uh, but most of them got transferred to different precincts and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, out of all of that that happened, the determination at the end of the um, the proceedings that came from that incident, nothing happened. No one was convicted of wrongdoing or anything like that. But then people got transferred before all of this happened. Right. So I'm wondering if it, if something did get turned into wrongdoing, would they have got terminated? So maybe this is a like a blessing in disguise. Let me just split them up. Right. We'll do our investigation. We'll come. And no wrongdoing was done. Mm-hmm. But at least they got transferred. Uh, you know, we ain't had to fire them or put exactly. them on paid leave or right. something like that. So congratulations, police officers. You still have a job. Exactly. Don't do it again Mm-mm. because they might not feel the same way the next time. Right. Y'all need to let that star be late to his show. And, yeah. Especially Charlie Sheen since he snitched. Mm. He was a snitch. Mm. Taking pictures of speedometers and, you know, they helping you out. Right. And posting it on Twitter and stuff. Mm. He was an unintentional snitch, but yet still right. he should be on the bottom of the <laughs> bottom of the <laughs> page. Snitch, no. <clears throat> A lot of people are now that I've talked about it are very, very interested in daddy, um, daddy husband. <laughs> daddy husband. Daddy husband. We're going to have to find it. And here's how it went. Daddy husband! I need a blanket. Can you bring me a blanket, daddy husband? Thank you, honey. That's how it started. Yeah, that's how it started. <laughs> that's the voice. Yeah, and it was like... Thanks, Daddy Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> she was damn fun. We are at work. Oh. This is how we do it. <clears throat> Pleasure P is trying to come back. <sighs> <laughs> you know, after his 2009 allegations against him being, um, you know, after being accused of child molestation. You know, those charges were dropped. Nothing came of it because the people that um, tried to file the loss, you know, trying to get him criminally arrested, actually came back and said it was a, um, they were doing false statements. and They paid him off. 100% false. The, uh, this, everything that was circulating was 100% false. They paid him off. <clears throat> <laughs> paid him off. I'm not, I'm not co-signing. They paid him off. <laughs> they paid but you know what I, I don't get about this you say here's what it said all of the recent rumors and accusations that are being circulated are about me are 100% false not 100% untrue but the rumors and the allegations are false now anybody that knows media Knows when you say 100% false, that's a bad choice of words when you're trying to deny an allegation. False means that you just didn't have the correct information about me molesting that baby. Mm-hmm. Untrue means, means it never it happened. Never happened. Right. So basically, the parents of that child that said that he molested that baby gave the wrong information. They need to go back to the drawing board and start again. Because mm-hmm. if he did it, Allegedly, if he did it, they should still be able to file again. He paid him off. I think it was an out-of-court settlement. Now, I'll co-sign on that, now that I've said that. Read into it, though. (laughs) All of the recent rumors and accusations that are being circulated (laughs) about me... (laughs) What? I mean... T.D. Jakes. No, not T.D. Jakes. What's his name? Strokey Pope. Yeah, Eddie Long, Eddie Long, Stroke, Eddie Long, stroke Pope, <laughs> Bishop, <clears throat> Eddie Long, 
are 100% false. Okay. So we need to dig deeper and find the correct information? Is that what you're telling me, Pleasure P? Pretty much. As you lift up your shirt to say, hey, kids. (laughs) That's so not appropriate. No, it wasn't. You know, as I look at him, I, I see less attractive. When did you ever see him? No, you know, he got his shirt lifted up. Um, No? So? Ew? Ew. Ew? Uh Oh. Mm. I guess everybody... I never liked... That's the consensus? Pretty Ricky. No, Pretty Uh, Ricky sucks. I never liked none of them. That's why they can't come back out. They don't handle deals or nothing. No. Especially since they let him go. If he would have stayed in the group, maybe none of this would have been, you know... And they maybe could have stayed on top. Because then they tried just, to bring in a new singer. They should have just kept on molesting each other. I can't. That's I'm not, I'm not doing this with you tonight. That's what they should have I'm did. not doing really? this with you tonight. I'm not. <laughs> Can I play? All right, since it's time to go. We're not going to play no pretty Ricky song. No, I want the Kaya, the sound bite that I never got to play about Kaya. Oh, oh yeah, we can do that. Listen um, to this. This chick is, I can't stand her. But this is how we're leaving tonight. You ready? Yes. Go for it. I'm going to leave my mic on. Mm. Why is my... Not all my stuff. Okay. And we're back. But before I get motherfucking started, I got some real shit that I need to address. Media, fuck out. While y'all motherfuckers wanted to try to post pictures and roast and gag on the Queen's royal attire, why wasn't y'all in the building in support of Mr. Feeney and the Tupac Center for the Tupac Celebration? Y'all motherfuckers wanted to cut Queen of Feeney out of the picture and try to roast and gag, but nobody was there to support what Mr. Feeney was doing for her, Tupac, and the children. I didn't see no media outlet in the motherfucking building. The Tupac Center is right here in Atlanta. But I didn't see nobody from the ATL in the motherfucking building. So what's really the fuck going on? Why y'all motherfuckers want to try to roast and gag about what the queen had on? Y'all should have let the people know where I was and what the event was about. Where was all the media attention and the media outlets then? I didn't see anybody there to support Tupac or the Tupac Center for the Children. But y'all be rushing to the BET Awards for that fuck shit. It be all be loads of goddamn media people there to support the BET Awards and all of that fuck shit. But it won no media outlets outlets in the building to support the Tupac celebration and then you had the nerve to cut Mr. Feeney out the picture and not let the people know what the queen was really there doing. Media fucked out. <laughs> Y'all gonna do this. Mm. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You are listening to Baltimore Exposed Radio.